The Supreme Court of India on Friday ordered the transfer of the Gyan Vapi Mosque case to the Varanasi district judge. The top court said that a senior and an experienced judicial officer of the Uttar Pradesh Judicial Services will hear the case. The Supreme Court, while hearing the Muslim side, please said that these are complex social problems and no solution by a human being can be perfect. Our order is to maintain certain degree of peace and calm. Interim orders claim some frayed nerves with a healing touch. The main accused in the Sheena Bora murder case, Indrani Mukherjee, walks out of the Bayakola jail today, a day after she was granted bail by the special CBI court on 2 lakh rupees surety. After her release, she said, I am just going home. Empathy and forgiveness. I have forgiven all those people who have hurt me. I have learnt a lot in the jail. An Airbus A320 Neo plane of the Tata Group run Air India returned to Mumbai airport just after 27 minutes after taking off as one of its engines shut down mid-air due to a technical issue according to the sources. The pilot of the plane received a warning about high exhaust gas temperature on one of the engines just a minute after the aircraft's departure from Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport at 9.43 am. With that engine being shut down, the pilot landed back at at the Mumbai airport at 10.10 a.m. The Supreme Court of India, which was hearing the Pegasus snooping case, has granted the technical committee appointed by itself four more weeks to submit its report on the investigation in the case. The bench headed by Chief Justice N.V. Ramanna said that the process by the technical committee would be over by May end and thereafter the supervising judge should be informed. 206 kidney stones were removed from the body of a 56-year-old man. The hour-long surgery took place at the Aware Glen Eagle Global Hospital. The doctor said that the patient was consoled and prepped for a keyhole surgery that lasted for an hour during which all stones were removed.